Hey guys, welcome to another video by SM Dicing. Uh, first off, if you've not joined the server yet, I'm gonna go ahead and post that link right here. Make sure you join. I'm gonna be featuring the rest of the server in the video. Obviously trying to hit a couple new things. However, uh, another reminder, we're gonna be having an $80 giveaway at the end of the video, so make sure you comment, like, subscribe, uh, and of course, click that link if you haven't already. We're going to go ahead first right into this chest. I'll be damned if I don't get anything good this time. Hopefully my rolls are going to allow me to get something in the top row. And no. Yep. Keep on spamming this. I have a feeling I'm going to go ahead and, and <laughs> probably just get the same old stuff I've been getting. I'll take a Jolly Sled. I'll take one of the Mystery Tickets. I'll take any of those things. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any of them. Okay, did get a mystery box or the uh, donated box. So not to oh another one. Okay, well th these have to be ba yeah they're basic. I got a chest. Okay, that's something different. Let's go and open those up. I want to see what my loots are. Starting off with the epic crystal key on our crystal chest. Yes. All right, just just a bunch of stuff. Okay, nothing special. We'll open up all of our pouches here. Oh, yeah, that wasn't absolutely horrible for what they were. Um, we have our price seeds. Okay, so just cash right now. Uh, and our mystery boxes. Decent. Got the plate legs. Armor crossbow. And a carol set, which we'll probably end up using. We have an, another epic crystal key. I didn't even see that. Okay, use it again. One more. Okay, and still like subpar loot. Um, now opening up the ultimate prize box. All right, the epic bonus chest. And then finally the mystery chest. Okay, all right, all right loots overall. Nothing that really like stood out to me. However, um, the day is not lost, which is why we're going to continue with this video. Um, and I didn't even notice we got a Bandos Hilt there. And we're going to really kind of explore some things I haven't featured yet. You might have guessed it, as I think a couple of other YouTubers have made videos on it, but we're going to be trying out the Nardar Narda uh, minigame. Uh, if you have a Narda teleport scroll, which you can get through basic, like I think like thieving, uh, daily tasks, and a couple of other like bosses and stuff, um, you can go ahead and teleport to the minigame right away. All right, and now we start. Now, I saw an article um, or a forum post by Ralph, um, and I think I've interpreted it correctly. Um, he said the strategy that is most worthwhile to make money in this minigame is to go for sand armor. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't think we're going to be looting a lot of things here because it is timed. You have under five minutes uh, to go through the entire minigame. Uh, and there are some harder NPCs in here that, that can actually damage you a little bit. That's why I have both the prayer potions uh, as well as the, um, the stamina potions. I thought there was actually supposed to be a sand mummy here, so maybe I did not get it correctly. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, fingers crossed we have uh, more opportunities for sand mummies up here. Let me go ahead and double check real quick. All right, so I double checked and I'm almost positive um, that we have found this strategy, and I could be missing a lot on this one. Again, I've just been told this is a fun mini game um, to make a little money as well as. Uh, just kind of experience runex so i think on this right here if i loot this uh, i will face a sand mummy am i facing a sand mummy no but i got a casket it's gonna give me coins what about now no sand mummy what the heck huh what could i be doing wrong Okay, well, I think I'm going to go deeper in here and figure something out. Um, just see if I'm doing this wrong. And I keep on forgetting uh, to drink stamina potions. Good lord, I'm such a noob. <laughs> I, I like how when I just killed this cursed mummy, it gave me stamina potions, yet um, nothing else. So um, there should be some more things to loot over here. And I'm going to go through um, this door and see if there's anything past that point. No, just more loot. I do have a key here, which should give me access to the actual door. It does. Okay. Where am I going to loot next? Um, because I'm running out of time. How much time do I have? 30 seconds left. Good Lord. I'm going to have to do this again. 
I'm gonna have to look this up and see exactly how to do this because if it's what I've been told you can make money on this um, we're gonna try it okay I wonder what you get from killing these things I don't have much time at all I have less than 20 seconds Okay. I killed it, but what do I get? It's dropping coins. How much coins? Okay, so a decent amount. You can actually make decent money here, I guess. And I'm dead. Okay, we gotta try this again. This I'm not satisfied. Alright, so I messaged Ralph <laughs> just to double check. Um, and I think I know what I went wrong with. Uh, this time so first off what he does in his video on the forum post so as soon as he enters he clicks there yeah okay hopefully that is going to be what i did wrong uh just that very first step um one thing i also didn't do is i didn't loot as many things as i i probably should have he's looting a lot of stuff uh, whereas i was not looting that much at all uh, and you do get things when you loot so that's definitely something that's going to be important um for me to be successful here Oh crap, and this is our first hand mummy too. Um, okay. If I do protect melee. Dragon dagger, the sand mummy out. In hopes of getting quicker kills. God, this time limit is actually kind of getting to me too. Um, I don't want to run out of time before I can get through this damn, you know, maze almost. He recommended the best possible damage per second weapon, and I think I have it on right now. At least, hopefully. Um, one more hit, hopefully. No, come on. Okay, what do we get? Crystal key as well as coins. Nice, okay. Quickly go on. He also looted the chest in here as well. So I'll loot these. And I'll loot these. Cool. Okay, I am just getting piled up with these monsters. Okay, I think the next one I'm going to have to loot, at least for the Sand Mummy, is right over here. Okay. You run out of run damage so, or run energy so quickly here. Good lord, okay. And then this one is the one that he had another Sand Mummy come out of. Okay, no, it was this one. I'm sure it was this one. Yep, here's the second one. Okay, awesome, awesome. This is a lot better than the last run. Good lord. Okay. And then, do we have any specs left? We do. Okay. These things are tanky as hell. I, I want... God, I want to see how kind of side note i want to see how this does in the wilderness not the particular gear set but i i'm sure i could probably get some kills down too and our loot is going to be ancient staff and coins god i didn't get any like sand pieces how much time do i have left 45 seconds that's not enough time at all <laughs> this is such a pressure if you want to if you want to kill all these things like there's it's oh, it's almost impossible I think I have to kill this cursed mummy to progress on. No, I'm not going to have any time. God, so many other, like, you. I saw some other YouTube videos where they were, like, getting this done super, super quickly. I just feel like kind of like an idiot. And I don't know if it's me just, like, being new or this is, like, legitimately hard to, like, progress as far as you'd like. Um, we're dealing with about 15 seconds left. And I just hope that I can kill this cursed mummy. It would be embarrassing if I didn't do it in 15 seconds. Oh, come on now. Five, three, just kill it, kill it. No, that's so embarrassing. That is so awful. So I definitely said I wanted to be K in the server, so here I am. <laughs> We're about to see what this guy's made of. Um, he is largely splashing on all my stuff. I am not really a great NHer by any means. Um, I doubt this guy's a good anything. <laughs> no, no offense, but he's not doing too well on me. Okay. 
Oh, okay, I want to talk. He smited me. Oh, no. Oh, this is embarrassing. All right, I gotta get my loot. I gotta get my bolts. I'm not gonna run out here. Make sure that my prey is up. He doesn't exactly have the right prey either. We both suck. Okay, come on. I almost feel like this should be hitting a little bit better. And... Shoot! That sucks. Is he gonna try to Dragon Claw me? This is such a dull fight. Okay, I want I want to I want to make a move. How many bolts do I have? I have enough bolts. Oh, that was that was so disappointing. Okay, well I might as well not even continue here because I'm gonna get murked. All right, guys. So we ended up escaping um, from him. Um, regardless of the fact that I'm only wearing Dragon Boots right now. However, um, it, we did start experiencing a little bit of lag here, so I went ahead and decided not to go back out for a second fight. I do want to go ahead and do some PKing in the future, though, because I do think that uh, with my <coughs> PKing experience, I could potentially dominate in a server that I, I don't necessarily think is known for PKing. So I kind of want to try that. However, at the very least, make sure you're clicking that link in the description. If you're not subbed, go ahead and sub to me. And if you want to enter in the giveaway, remember that's your in-game name. Like, comment, subscribe. And be sure if you want to watch more videos from me, go ahead and let me know in the bottom of the description. Don't know if I'll be doing another Runex video right away. I may jump back to Spawn PK. However, I would highly, highly recommend it. If you're a Spawn PK player or just someone who's never played the server before, I highly recommend Runex. It is a great, great experience, especially for someone who loves economy servers. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.